Wow, look at him. Is this one of their new items or is he? Been picking up a lot of little wood boxes lately. This one. Here, Noah, can you uh, be my hands? I spotted this little bag in the window. It's London Fog. I didn't even know London Fog made bags. Home of the Braves, Turner Field. Some pictures, but ordinarily the pictures wouldn't get me, but it is signed. <gasps> these are a little, these are a sleeper. Oh, wow, that is so thin. Ooh. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Oh, today is very special. It is a day that everybody has been waiting for. Look who's with me! I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. We are at the Goodwill Boutique that Noah has been saying, I want to go, I want to go. And we are here on Senior Day, which means it's 40% off. So except we're going to find tags. some scores, hopefully. Except for red tags. Except for red tags. Red tags are not 40% off. So hopefully we find colors. Colors and cool stuff. But I'm going to I'm gonna stick to my, I'm going to stick to my new thing. No more than 15 items. That Changed is, it to 15. I thought it was... 12 to... I said 12 to 15. I thought it was less before. It's 12 to 15. <laughs> it's 12 to 15. So 15. 15 good items. 15 good items. Okay. That's... Yeah. Let's go find some scores. <laughs> Let's get shop done. All right, Noah. I'm going to let you get the door. Why, thank you, sir. And pick us a lucky cart. That one. All right. Right off the bat. I see giraffes. These, they are wood. These are generally made for the tourist trade in like Kenya, Africa, and then they, you know, end up in the thrift stores because somebody kind of changes out their collection. But so I got to do a little math. Eight times six, four. So they'd be like five bucks each. You know what? Let's put those in the cart, but they might be an item that doesn't stay in the cart. So hard because you never know. You never know what else you're going to find while you're shopping. Like cute little appetizer pick set. That's very, that's very new and modern though. Are you? It's like glass. Glass and brass. Who makes you? Chillmark. Fine pewter. Now I did not know pewter could be gold tone. It is numbered and 1979. I'm gonna. It's a stained glass plate. It's it's glass, yeah. See? Stained glass plate. Yeah. We're gonna look it up. Well, I can't find any plates. I can find Shillmark Pewter, and it's a good brand of pewter. I feel like this is the partridge in the pear tree. It's a Christmas thing because there's all the other 12 days of Christmas items around it. It's pretty awesome. It's 40% off, so it's going in my cart. Wow, look at him. Is this one of their new items or is he? Oh no, he's got a he's got a $20 purple tag, which means he'd be 40% off. He'd be $16. <gasps> now, obviously I don't want to ship this. He'd be fantastic at the store. I feel like I could get 50 bucks for him pretty easy. Okay, so Noah, everything is up. We have to look up for everything. Up I on top. I think I spotted a couple things you're going to take a look at. Oh, okay. See if my predictions are right. Let's see if your predictions are right. I do like these. He's pretty, but I really don't like dealing with these big terrines. Just, they're kind of big and clunky and not fun to ship. Too many chances they break. Yeah, there is that too. So we'll pass on that. Very cheaply made resin angels. Fake plants, Noah. Fake plants. I'm not picking up any <laughs> decorations for my room and that's are really good. Oh, okay. Ceramica de la Cal with its original tag. Nordic folk collection. It's $14.99. Came from Home Goods. You can see there on the bottom. 
was $25 on clearance at Home Goods. I feel like it's about a $25 pitcher. Is it a good one? Mm. I love this spray of lavender. It's nice. They got a lot of the the home goods kind of stuff here. What'd you find? Uh-huh. You like that, don't you? <laughs> if these came out of here, I think it'd be better. Oh, they don't? They don't come out at all? I think so. You're right. They're kind of stuck in there. So you'd have to like just decorate just with it like that. I've seen better ones. I've seen I've better seen ones. ones. Okay. These are fun. I have a little touch lamp that matches this kind of yeah you would just put little lights in there again very contemporary that is a vibrant red someone put the tag upside down huh what tags upside down oh that's okay cheaply made though with the glitter the glitter i don't know if that was added after but yeah the glitter i'm not i'm not feeling it Kind of goes with your kind of industrial rustic theme. It's a little too much. A little too much. What's too much about it? Oh, I don't. I don't get the right feel from it. It was forty dollars at home at uh, Hobby Lobby. It's an odd piece. But he likes the lamp. Is it old or is it like vintage inspired? A lot of times you can look at the cord and see. It's new. It's new, yeah. It's not an oldie. This has a interesting look to it. It's like a little cutouts in there. Some so, not like this. yeah, it's actually glass on the inside and like a pottery on the outside. That's very cool. It is. I think it is a contemporary piece, though. I do not think it has any age on it. It's not marked. Yeah. 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 It is a glass piece. Just I know. It's cool. Order. What's this, though? I just saw Tarno made in Poland. <gasps> What's this one? Been picking up a lot of little wood boxes lately. This one. Here, Noah, can you uh, be my hands? Oh, it's swirl. Oh, that's cool. You put your salt in here. It's for, for I think it is, right? <laughs> I mean, maybe originally it was a salt box, but hold it, er, hold it, <laughs> hold it. I'm trying to close it. <laughs> He's holding it open. Oh, it's marked. Oh, it's a Paula Deen. Paula Deen. All right, nothing too fancy. Well, we have some depression glass. I really don't tend to pick up too much of the depression glass unless it is uranium glass, which seems to be super popular. But I think the pink is kind of making a comeback. It had a little bit of a, a seam on it. Well, that's because glass. depression glass was not a high quality glass. It was just a heavily produced glass and it was made very cheaply, but it's got appeal because it comes from the, the depression, the depression era where it was really rough times. Who makes you? CDGC. Don't know that one. Don't know that. I do like those jars. I like those old jars. But I don't need them. I don't need them. That would not be a fun piece to ship. No. It's, I believe it's a, I mean, it is a, a Chinese import glass. You can just see in the quality and the shine and all of that. It's probably worth about 30 bucks. So they're pretty spot on with that price. Oh, he's pretty fantastic. <laughs> kitty, kitty. It's metal. Oh, he's sharp. He got me. He is, four, now see, I wouldn't want to pay $14.99, but he's 40% off of that. So he's like $6 off. So that makes him like nine bucks. I think I want him. Can we put him in the cart? I like these little stands. You yeah, like them too? <laughs> we both veered to them. Oh, and they're they're half price because they're gray tag. Those would make cute little displays. So they're only four dollars each. I think I want those for the store. So they don't count in my total of items because I'm buying these as store displays. But I love them. 
I have a feeling we're going to end up getting a second cart. This is Odagiri. That is a really nice little Odagiri pottery vase. Really nice quality, really appealing design. So it would only be $6. Noah, I think we're putting that in the cart too. What are you? Little, oh, it's a little barrel heritage collection. That would have had probably a little holder that it sat in. Ooh, that's pretty. Cut glass. Noah is, Noah is struggling with the cart. He's got to, yep, Noah's got to go on a quest to get a second cart because we have already, we've got a couple of big things in there, so it's all good. Tiffany style lamp, not very well done. Got a little Buddha candle holder, salt water blue. Okay, I gotta smell that one. Oh, wow. I wish I could burn candles because that one smells really good. I wanna see what Noah thinks about it. Oh, and can we just talk about this word right here? I call it lilac. Lilac, I've always called it lilac. Uh, in the co comments, was it yesterday, day before? I can't even remember what video it was. I bought something with lilacs and was told it's pronounced lilac. I guess it just depends what part of the country you grew up in. I, I've always known it as lilac. Noah, how do you say that word? Lilac. You say lilac? Yeah. How did, how did you learn lilac and I'd say lilac? Because it's pronounced lilac. Oh, well, there you go. No smell that one, smell that one because that one to me is really yummy. Oh, he doesn't like it. Do you like the lilac? <laughs> no. He doesn't like the lilac either. I like the same, I don't like those. Okay. I spotted this little bag in the window. It's London Fog. I didn't even know London Fog made bags. This one is red tag at $30. So no discount on that, but it's a really good looking bag. Oh. And we're going to look over here see what purses might be on sale. What is that? What is that brand? Two backwards. One's not backwards. One's backwards. The other one's not backwards. GG. I don't know. I'm not a purse girl. I don't know the brands real well. Multi sack. I just know what I like. I know when I see something that's cute or I think is, you know, pretty good quality or like the obvious ones, you know, Coach, Dooney and Burke. Those ones I know to pick up at the right price. Noah likes this one. This one's half price, Noah. What's the brand? It says it on the back here. Oh, it's a Steve Madden. That's a pretty, that's a, just a pretty middle of the road brand. See, I knew that though. I knew that. Let's see what we got over here. There's a relic. Relic, is relic related to um, fossil. I want to, I, I feel like, I feel like I don't they know have, you're asking me. I feel like they have a relationship. I'm asking them. I'm asking them. I looked, I looked, I, looked, looked I did. I looked at you while I said it, but I'm asking them. This is kind of cute. Who makes you? Do you have a name? Does it have a name? Oh, it does. What does that say? Oh, it's a Brighton. How much is that one? 30. Yeah, they know the price. 30. 30 for the Brighton. Red tag, no discount. All right. See, I know, I know those are good brands. You looked at this one before. But you gotta you? find them at a good price. Uh, at a different store, there was another snakeskin print. You were right. See, Noah edits the video, so he sees everything I buy. <laughs> so he kind of knows the stuff that I go and look at too. This is cute. Does that have a name? Oh wait, it's got a tag. It's a Jen and Co. Jen and Co. It's cute. Oh. I don't know if it's cute enough to pay like eight bucks for. B O C. See, I know that for shoes. I know that's a good shoe brand, but I don't know if that's a good purse brand. It's cute. It's a nice purse, but I think I think I'm gonna hold off on buying any purses today. What you spot? I've had plates that are made with that material. Ooh, elephant. He is a warmer. Wait a minute. I feel like that's upside down. So that, Noah, can you flip that? Turn it over if you can. Yeah, that's, 
Oh, the tape is messing up everything. All right, I'm gonna let Noah with two hands deal with that so we can see how he actually sits on there. There we go. So that is how he sits. Yeah, he's an elephant wax warmer. He doesn't know. He's newer. Does that have a price on it under the, uh, under here? Under there. And I have to keep talking because of the music. There is no price on him. So we don't know how much he is. Oh, it's on his head. $14.99. All right. I think we're going to pass. Even with the, uh, even with 40% off, that's a little more than I want to pay. He's not branded. That's a really good message. Stay humble, work hard, and be kind. I try. These are pretty. I mean, they're again. Oh, this is their yellow tag stuff. Caught my eye though. I like these spoons. I like it. I like the look of it, but very, very contemporary. Oh yeah, they load their drawers with ties and little purses and... It's a fly, Noah. You've got a fly attacking you. <laughs> Hats, belts. Yep, all kinds of stuff. All right, let's look over here in the kitchen goods. That is signed. Oh, goodness. S.J. I cannot make out what that says. It's pretty, but it's heavy. Big and heavy. Oh, what will Noah find in the kitchen goodies? It's funny what he veers towards now. It's not, it's it, is it a non-stick? Oh, it's non-stick. So we can't use it if it's non-stick. More now than ever because all the birds are very close to the kitchen. Before they were a little bit far away. We had a... about uh, getting cast iron? I know, you've cast talked about that. bird safe. It just needs I'm, a lot of maintenance. I'm, yeah, it does. I'm not a super fan of cast iron. I mean, ugh. But you gotta like season the pan. You gotta, you gotta season it, it and it's the clean. I know. I just had this conversation in one of my videos about it because I'm just I'm not, I'm a little squeamish about cast iron. I don't know. A grilling skillet. Look, you can put that on the barbecue. We needed that the other day. Yeah, and that you could use even though it's non stick because it's we, you'd be doing it outside. That's kind of. That's you want that. Yeah. Yeah. And do a bougie. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all the Scentsies. Holy smokers. I am going to take a moment off camera and look through and see if any of these are worth picking up. Uh, looks like most of them will be only like $6. So let me do some research and I'll let you know what I get. So what happened was I started looking these up. You can see they were red tag before and then they made them blue tag and they are 40% off, so they're $6 each, and they sell pretty consistently for about $20 each, and there's multiples. I didn't realize that at first. There's a couple of different ones of these, and then I haven't looked these up, but I can pretty much be sure they're gonna be still in that 20 to $25 range, maybe even more. I'm grabbing them all. Let me explain what I just did there. I absolutely love finding a quantity of the same thing because you do the work one time and then it sells over and over and most of the marketplace platforms love when you have quantity and they will boost your item up once you sell the first one so whenever I see a quantity of the same thing I buy them all because you only have to do the work once and then it's just over and over and over it keeps selling until it's gone okay that was fun Looking at the art, that's just kind of a very common European street scene. It's nice. Oh, I kind of love that. How fun is that for a laundry room? <laughs> we would need a lot more clippies for the uh, lost socks, but, yeah, but these are just I know, I know it is. But that's, I really, do I have a wall in the laundry room, Noah? I can't even remember right now. I don't even think I have a wall, but this, what a great idea. I love this. Put it just outside the I love it. Do you love it? It's kind of fun. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I think I'm going to get that. It doesn't count in my item count because this is for me. 
I am not a sports person, so I don't know too much about this. Home of the Braves, Turner Field, some pictures, but ordinarily the pictures wouldn't get me, but it is signed B. Sturman. So that must have been like the photographer. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. It's 20 bucks. You like that abstract kind of? You do like that abstract kind of poor stuff. I don't stuff. have any wall space for it. Oh, please. Not until we get everything put up. You have, I have I okay, have. I was going to say, you have so much wall space. You just really haven't like figured out where you're going with everything yet. Noah likes the boat, too. Okay. This is on silk. I have picked up quite a few of these. I'm not feeling it today uh, because I'm kind of getting maxed out on my items. I like that, but I think that was like hotel art. That one's, it's okay. Little girl, she's kind of sweet. Nielsen is the artist. Nielsen. Ooh, that's kind of cool. He's half price. See, he's tempting. He's tempting. I do love the butterfly. I don't know what this is about right here. It's like some goop on it. Hmm. Oh, he's looking at the clocks. The wall of clocks, Noah. All right, I think, I think I'm not gonna get any art today. Look at this queen of hearts. I mean, she's just resin. She's kind of awesome though. Oh, she's broken. Okay. Took the temptation away. She's kind of awesome though. I liked her. There's a gaming headset. Is that a good one? It's wired though. I can tell by the packaging. Oh, it's tell just, us about the packaging. What is it about the packaging? It's just generic. And what would a good one look like? A good like? one will come in a cardboard box usually. Ah. With like foam padding on the inside. Okay, okay. At least mine does. And every brand I know of does. All right. Just learned, oh my gosh, look at the lamp speaker that is the Raiders. What is that? It's $20 is what it is, but is it like a lava lamp? I think it is. It's a speaker lamp. Magma lamp. Oh, they're calling it, is magma another word for like lava? I don't know. Just calling it a magma. Magma okay. and lava are It's interesting. Synonymous. It's interesting. That's a cool basket with a little... Oh, it's that same image that I just posted the trivet, the cowboy at the cross. It's a, just a very, very iconic uh, art image. It's $15 I was looking behind it. of those cars. That's our yellow tag stuff, though. They're fun, though. They I are like, fun. I like the like, old-style wooden cars. Oh, that's cool. And race cars. You just like cars. It's hit or miss on some race car models. It's got to be good quality. I found Jesus. You did? I did find Jesus. He look, Oh, he looks older, too. Look at... So you can see the uh, the uh, little screw heads there are flathead and not Phillips. That's usually a sign of some age. The most mm. stuff is Phillips. I think I'm going to leave him, though. I think I am. I think I am. I may regret that decision. Calla lilies on the handles. That's quite nice. That is half price. Do you have a maker? Nope. You're just nice. Okay, look at. I can walk away from that too. Some red glass. I do like the little perfume bottle. Is that not coming out of there for what reason? Why is that so tight in there? I'm wondering if that's even the real stopper for this because it's not... It's not the same color. Yeah, there's no reason for that to be that tight, so I'm a little nervous about even pulling that out of there. These... I was going to say Pioneer Woman, but that's not a Pioneer Woman print, I don't think. I don't know who makes that print. Those are kind of nice, but they, you can see they're all scratched because the glass is not actually that color. It's just kind of stained on there. Nice little candle holders. They are Col Caldier. Caldier, made in Italy. $10 each. Hmm. 
I may look up that brand real quick because they'd be six dollars each for me. So I was going over here while she's doing that. This smells really nice. I like candles. They're they're fun. This looks broken. It is is leaning off to the side. Very odd. Very very odd. And we're currently looking up glass over here. This is a fun little piece. It has like a, a little lid that comes up. It's definitely it's definitely not that expensive though. I, I'm learning how to feel it. I'm learning how to feel the glass. Okay, so I looked them up and there are there's one listed for 24. There's no solds and then there's a couple of them listed for five bucks. So I think sadly we have to leave those behind. And up here we just found another Scentsy. This is the Antique Cross. So same price. We're going to grab that one. Little silver toned birds. No, not super exciting. Uh oh, did you find something you like? Okay, I can leave it. The, the leaves look cheap. It does look a little it, cheap. It does. Yeah, the trunk of the tree looks if really this was cheap. higher quality, that would be going on my desk. Aha. Uh -huh. Already got a little fake plant on my desk. I really like this frame. It's like a gold, rustic bark. That is really cool. I like it. I like it. I like the price of it. I like everything about it. Okay, I'm putting that one in the cart. Okay, I just found a bunch of I Love Lucy stuff. So 15 on the frame. It's 40 on the... Are these supposed to be like bookends? I think they are. So they're backwards. Here, Noah, switch these around. What? Switch these two. Switch them. Switch them. <laughs> Here, just move that one over. Because they're bookends. See? I think. Right? No? No. Maybe I'm wrong. No. Okay. Never mind. They're bookends, but they go this way. Oh, okay. Put them back. Put them back. I was wrong. Okay. I see. Okay. Oh, I see. Why did I not see it the right way before? Those are pretty cool. 40 bucks, though. And we got a trinket box for 20 and the chocolate. Hee <laughs> hee. Gotta love the chocolate episode. $15 and that one is as is and the clock. Very, very nice. I love Lucy collection. I am looking at this. Oh, are you uh, going to time me? <laughs> hey, I think we need that. People really love these sand timers, especially when they have a pretty color. The purple one I got sold right away, and this one is a pretty, pretty turquoise in this mercury glass. It's a bougie blue. And it's, it is bougie blue. So we're gonna go ahead and pick that up for six bucks. This guy is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing cookie jar, elephant. Oh, you hush. I know, we're gonna have to make some decisions. Yeah, he's big, hard to ship. I'm going to pass. Love the Hummel, going to pass. <gasps> these are a little, these are a sleeper. Okay, if you look up, um, they're called a number of different things when you look these up on eBay. These ones have dragons and they're like cloisonne and they come in the box. So look up chime balls, Chinese chime balls. Sort by highest on the solds and look at the ones that sell for some really ridiculously big money like these. 8 minus 40%. So these are a no-brainer. Be brave and work hard. What do we have here? Another art pottery. What happens as I'm, you know, got all of these things is my discrimination kicks in another gear, you know, whereas I really would have liked that set. I might have bought that set. Now I'm like, is it better than anything else I've got in the cart? No, it's not glass dolphin the thing to see is if he's signed is he hold on, hold on. Oh, I think I saw I thought I saw something I did wait yes he is oh where is it he's Waterford he's a Waterford dolphin aha uh -huh, for eight dollars minus 40 percent we will grab the Waterford dolphin I might have to make an exception on senior day <laughs> you know rules are made to be broken right no I'm kidding. The rules I make for myself can be broken though. It's cute. I know I have this serious mental dilemma going on right now. 
this is this is you know the problem with putting my whole life on video is now I can be held accountable. What are you finding? Oh, he's smelling all the candles. I do not believe that is like an authentic piece. It's made for tourist trade. These are nice. It has been coated to prevent tarnishing. Clean with soft, moist cloth. Do not use polish made in China. These are kind of nice. But they are $12.99 each. Kind of a nice wood bowl. Came from like a home goods store. Ooh, peppermint hot chocolate. Ooh. Mm. This looks like recycled glass. From Ikea. Yep, there we go. Oh, cute little birdhouse. I like it. I like it. That I can leave. <gasps> uh oh. Oh, is he missing a leg? Darn. Okay, well that that makes him easy to leave. A little three-legged cat. If he wasn't missing that leg, he would be a score. Oh, away. he might be. Noah likes the bowl. It's very geo, very geometric. I like the geometric stuff. Oh, that's heavier than I thought it was going to be. It's false graph. Make your favorite veggie snacks. Because that's weird. It is weird. Okay, she's fun. For three dollars. See, I just don't. I don't. This would have been a, like an impulse buy before. I'm like, oh, she's only three dollars. I can get her, and she probably sells for like ten to twelve. No, no, she's staying on the shelf. This is pretty cool. It is. What is that made of? Made. It's made with marl stone marble. Oh, it's cultured. Mar That's just a like a bougie way of saying fake, fake marble. Resin. <laughs> it is cool. Nice little. Good thing we don't have Rachel. With nice us. little birds. Are they wood? They are. Got a little age on them too. I think. No, we don't need them. We don't need them. It's not metal. Oh, it's plastic. It fooled you. All right. Pretty glass. Got to look up too because they have all this stuff up on the wall higher up. Ooh, look at the zebra plate. Oh, he's pretty awesome. Look at that. Oh yeah. It, I don't want to deal with him, but. He is pretty awesome. Is he I do. Down? He is upside down. He's yeah. He's upside down. What'd you find? Something very cheaply painted on the inside. Oh yes, super cheaply painted. Ooh yes. I see horses. These look like hobbyist pieces. It looks like yep. Look at somebody painted those in 1974. I'm surprised you didn't look at this. I, I did. This is where my eyes gravitate towards these little like etchings. I don't tend to pick those up. I know. I think when Tiffany and I had the booth at the Fantastic Vintage Market, she had a whole bunch of these. And they didn't sell. I didn't one. sell a one, so I tend to veer away from them. They're cool. They're very cool. This is a cool piece. I do believe that is the color of the glass too. Might have to get my black light out. It's got a little bit of a orange tinge going through there and it is half price now the question is is that worth giving up something else in my cart for mm. i don't think it is <gasps> what'd you find yay awesome love it the 24 karat golden rose is uh pretty cool for 12.99 are there two of them is that, does that have one in it too? So they're, oh, oh, that one's 24 karat gold rose. Something tells me, oh, wow, that is so thin. Ooh, is that one different than this one? No, that one's super thin too. I'm guessing, yeah, maybe not. Ooh, I just turned and spotted this really pretty little uh, 
perfume bottle, but the stopper is broken. That's too bad. It's half price too. I'm gonna leave it. Oh, look at these little, oh, these are the same as that other one. That's like very cheaply made. The plants yeah. themselves are just very cheaply made. That's too bad. Got a horse for $8. Don't need that. Oh, wait till you see Rachel's shelves. She has plenty of horses. Don't you fret. <laughs> oh, I think he's a wine bottle holder. Oh, let's look closer. Yeah. Oh, he was $50 wherever he came from before. And now he's going to be $12.99 minus 40%. Let's uh, put him in the cart. This is a bonsai type planter. Made in China though, that yeah, one. Oh, is it? Oh, good eye, Noah. Good eye. I didn't even spot that. I did spot these hands over here. Nice praying hands. I wonder what they would hold in the middle because it looks like it's meant to hold something. Maybe Zachariah like some... Brothers. What does that say underneath there? Oh, Bethlehem. So it's made of olive wood. And oh, that's... Held, like some jewelry or something? Well, they're praying hands, so probably not. Or maybe... Oh, I guess it could hold a rosary. $12.99. So I think that comes out to like 8 or $9. <gasps> they're nice. What do I do? I'm over my limit. I think you got it. Do I give myself a little... Uh, give it a little... I, I'm, I'm going to put the giraffes back, I think. I'm gonna put the giraffes back. I'm not strong, Noah. I'm not strong. I want them. And now I just spotted this absolutely gorgeous fused glass bowl that is signed. C. Barker. C. Barker. Ooh, Noah, I really love this. I feel like I would put this. I would put this on my dresser if I didn't sell it. So I technically can squeeze this one in, right? It's okay, right? This can replace something else. This one's really it good. It could, or I could just squeeze it in. He's making a face at me. <laughs> I think this is longer burger. It's got the longer burger look. Oh no, it fooled me. It is not. It's just a nice little uh, picnic basket type basket with a liner. Oh wait, it's Peterborough. Okay, it is good quality. It's Peterborough Basket Company. All right, I wasn't too fooled. <gasps> oh, I like this with the starfish. Noah says I'm buying too much. This is Primitives by Kathy. I want this, I want this for my own decor. Look what I spotted, a spotted owl. He's interesting, look how he's made. Noah, we're gonna be doing an all owl whatnot sale. All owls. All owls. That's a pretty good piece for he, it. He's cool, right? Yeah. He is nice. He'd be hard to leave behind. It's really kind of fast. Oh, uh, no. we can leave him. Shit. He's broken. That makes the choice easy. Oh. And then we've got kitty cats, uh, blue sky, salt, and peppers. But again, damaged. All right. All right. We can, for for cat we can resist. Oh wow, look at this wine holder. I don't know, the sun is kind of glaring in the window, but it's in the shape of like a cello. Cello, right? Yeah. What? Yeah, cello. That is cool. For a musician, that would be way cool. And then look at these. <gasps> We've got, what are you, a Doberman? No. Are you? I don't know. I can't tell what it is. And then we've got a big leopard. These are, again, they're yellow tags. $630 on that one. And $240 on the dog. Okay, Some jewelry time. Look at these, uh, the little blue flowers. Yeah. These are earrings. These are earrings. Wow. Did you want the top? You know what, those are, those are quite fabulous. I have, I have to get those. And then there's these little porcelain center. They are clip-ons. They're not signed. They would be six. I don't think I'm gonna get those. Let's see. What else? What else? What about these? I'm gonna get those. I am getting those shoes. Those are fabulous. Oh, can I see the little uh, the leaf with the pearl? 
and the seahorse. Let's check this one out. You must resale. Oh, it's Sarah resale. Coventry. I do resale. I could tell. Yeah. Okay, we're Good gonna we're gonna get the Sarah Coventry. Let me look at this little guy here. He's not he's not very heavy at all. Yeah, as much as I am fond of him, I'm gonna leave him. Mm, watches, no watches, watch. No to the seahorse. Sadly, no to the seahorse. He will. Somebody will love him. Let me see. Any necklaces? Mm. Nothing's grabbing me. Nothing grabbing me. Okay, I'm just gonna get those fabulous earrings. Oh, it's oh, just no. a, oh, it's a little charm. Yeah. It's nice, but yeah, it doesn't okay, okay. yeah, yeah. It doesn't excite me too okay, much. That's okay. I just oh. wanted to know. Thank you. Noah, you know we did it. We did it. We uh, filled how many carts? Uh, three, four, three, four, three or four, three or four, three or four. Too many. And we have to look plus. through them. I know. Well, look, I think I, I definitely think I'm gonna put the giraffes back. Because they're pretty common. I can find those a lot. I like them. And they were cool. we'll assess everything else. So stay tuned for the recap. We'll tell you everything I did end up buying, how much it's worth, and uh, how much I paid. That's coming up. And then stay tuned for a deep dive where we go a little bit further. And bougie. And bougie too. Okay, so this says I bought 37 items. I did not count how many of those were Scentsies, but Most of a them were lot senses. of them were Scentsies. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 of them were Scentsies. So okay, we stayed, we wait, wait, wait. Today. 37 minus 16, that's 27, that's 21. Two were personal. Got two the uh, cooking things, so two it's twenty. That's nineteen. And then you bought some jewelry. And I bought, but that that I've already counted that. That's in here. So that's oh. nineteen minus the two things that were kind of personal, but I would sell them. Seventeen, not not horrible, not super, not super horrible. Okay, a little horrible. I kind of I fell off the wagon. I fell off the wagon today. But incredible buys. You saw the recap. You we see found some awesome the stuff. Mart yeah. And like the fish, that big fish, I don't I don't have to do anything but slap a price tag on him. So technically, it gets me down to 18. Oh, and the giraffes got rung up twice. So that's not 17. I'm really good at justifying. 
This is bad. <laughs> that was fun though, Noah. Thank you for going with me. I had fun as well. What? Well, you'll have to come here I more often. I didn't find anything. Me. I didn't find anything for myself, but oh no, I did. We you found did. The, you got cooking stuff. I got some cooking stuff. Yeah. You won't have seen it. We got a burger press. You got a burger press. Making burger patties is messy. Yeah. You can stuff them with stuff. I can already do that. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned for the deep dive. We'll show you everything a little bit closer. Explain a little bit more what was going through my head when I was buying things. It's the time to really uh, figure out why I buy what I buy. All right. That's coming up, and Bougie will be joining me. Bougie, I cannot believe this haul. Can you? Oh my gosh. Number one, so much fun shopping with Noah. I hope he will do that with me on a regular basis. And then the thing that we found for the 40% off, it was so exciting. It was so exciting. Yes, it was. So I'm going to share it with you and everybody else. And you'll notice I put the kitty cat way over there for you, okay? I'll keep you safe. All right. Holy spumoni, folks. Um, this was a fun one. This was a very fun one. So uh, let's go through. So you will notice that the wood giraffes are on the table here. That is because as we were checking out, they were in the bottom of a basket and the ladies were just, they were pulling everything out and ringing it up. And then I didn't have the heart to put them back once she had already rang them up. So the giraffes stayed. I paid after the discount $4.79 each. They're still worth $20 to $25 each. So it's not like it was a bad purchase. It just put me over my, my limit a little bit. And to address the person who had said, just buy what's profitable. Why are you putting a limit on it? Again, it has to do with the time factor that uh, I want to make sure I'm getting everything processed on a timely basis, have time for the other things I need to do. So it's, it's kind of just a discipline thing as I ramp my business back up. All right, this piece right here uh, surprises me that it's not worth more. So it is 1979 chill mark it's glass in the center and it's the partridge in the pear tree and then it is the 12 days of christmas all the way around i've really never seen gold colored pewter so it surprised me when it said that it was pewter and it is a numbered piece number 72 out of 10,000 now 10,000 that's a lot that's a lot but we do have 7 billion people in the world so you know you put it in perspective it's not a lot um, it's a nice piece. It'll sell, but it'll only sell in the twenty to twenty-five dollar range. And I did pay seven seven seventy-nine, so a little lower margin than I would like. But it's still a beautiful piece. I could have I could have put this one back. The Marlin. Now the stand that it was on did not come with it, which was kind of a bummer. I was really hoping that that stand came with it, but still, I paid eleven dollars and ninety-nine cents for this incredible metal marlin that'll sell for 50 to 60. Now I will sell this down at the Good Stuff Thrift Store in my boutique section because it's a little big to ship. Not that I couldn't ship it, it's just that the shipping would be really expensive which deters the online sale of this piece. So if somebody's local and wants to come down to the store, come and grab it. The cat outdoor sculpture, just fun. Um, again, people pay a lot of money for these outdoor things. Now, what I did notice is he used to be holding something. And I am wondering what he was holding. But you know what you could hang from this? A uh, bird feeder. A bird feeder would be pretty fun. So there's like little holes where you could put a little, a little dowel across to hang a bird feeder from him. He will still bring $30 to $40 after an $8.99 purchase. And very sadly, this piece, where is it? This piece got cracked. Somehow on the way home, on the way to the car, it hit a bump and it got cracked. So I'm just going to use this one out on my patio for personal use. Had it not gotten cracked, this piece would have been worth $15 to $20. This vase, a vase, this frame, I just fell in love with, with its kind of a gold tone bark almost has like a brutalist look to it 
we have no maker's name. We have no information about it. So this one sells just on its looks, just on its eye appeal, and will still bring 20 to $25. And I paid less than five. The sand timer. I do believe that they sold these at Ikea, but Ikea is not a bad place to pick up things because people don't have an Ikea oftentimes where they are. So the items are really saleable. I know uh, that I can sell these because I sold a purple one very, very quickly and it will sell in the 20 to $25 range and I paid $5.99. I think it's 30 minutes. Pretty sure it's not a full hour, but I'd have to time it to tell you. You know what? I'll keep it running while I'm doing this video. So these are called boating balls and they're like for meditation. They're for, I don't know, I'm sure they have a... I'm sure they have a purpose that I'm not explaining well. Um, we know them as stress balls, maybe the original fidget spinner, but also good for strengthening your hand if you have arthritis. But they chime. These are really nice cloisonne dragons, which are desirable. Now, I'm surprised to find they're not selling for as much as they used to. Um, it's always good. It's always good to update your research. I thought that these were selling in like the 30 to $50 range because that's where they used to sell, but they're down to about the $20 range. So still we'll get $20 on a less than $5 purchase, which is not a bad margin. Just thought they were worth a little bit more. Noah spotted the dolphin and then I spotted the signature. It is Waterford. Waterford. Anytime you see a nice crystal piece, Go ahead and pick it up and look for that signature. It'll be, um, like it's acid etched. So again, it is, and sometimes reflect light, reflect light in different ways till you find it. Uh, but it'll look just like that. A lot of companies use this acid etch. Waterford, um, Costa Boda, Orifers, uh, Val St. Lambert. Gosh, what are some of the other ones? There's several, several, several companies that do their marks with a little acid etch like that. And sometimes it's very, very hard to spot right off the bat. Oh yeah, he is worth 50 to $60 for our little $5 purchase. What's your favorite so far? Do you have a favorite? Is it the cat? <laughs> I initially thought that this was a wine holder. I don't think he is. I think he is just a humpback whale sculpture because I, ha I have found this in dolphins and other sea creatures. I do believe it comes from Hawaii. The wood is a special kind of wood of which I didn't write it down and can't tell you. I'm so bad. Um, but they are very, very special. And it is a whale, which is very, very special. I love whales. Have I ever mentioned that? Uh, he's worth 25 to $30. He was a $7.79 purchase, so not a huge margin, but he should sell very quickly just because he's a whale. Now, what's funny is I was looking at uh, my video from the other day and on a shelf, there was, I swear, these hands were there. It could have been the same ones because that's what they do for the boutique is they go and they they curate things off the shelves at the store. I kind of like that job. Uh, but I swear I saw these, but I didn't even talk about them. I didn't even notice them. So here, up in a different spot, in a different store, they stood right out. It's Zachariah Brothers of uh, Bethlehem. And they're made of olive wood, which is very common for things out of um, Israel. And this is a Bible holder. So you put your Bible right here. And it's a very desirable piece. It was a really good pickup at $7.79 is what it ended up being after the discount. And it's worth $30 to $40. I think this is, I think this is close to my favorite purchase, if not my favorite purchase. I've got two favorites. This one right here, absolutely stunning fused glass with almost a slag glass swirl in there. And it is a signed piece. Anytime you get a signed piece of fused glass. It's almost always a definite pickup. Yes. It's signed C Barker and C Barker pieces sell really, really well. 
So this is a $40 to $50 piece for my $6.50 purchase. I just have to figure out if I'm selling it. I love it so much, but I don't know where I would put it. See, this is my dilemma. If I had a place, it'd be a no-brainer, but I don't really have a place for it. So I'm. it's probably going to show up in the niche lady shop. My other favorite, the starfish. This one I may actually keep and have a place for it. Uh, I do have a whole like sea life collection, both uh, one spot out in the living room and one spot in my bathroom. And this this one I'm going to look. I'm going to look for a spot. If I can't find a spot, I'll sell it. I'll probably eventually sell it either way just to, you know, change things up. But it's worth $20 to $25 for my $5.99 purchase. What are you doing, goofball? What are you doing up there? Why are you upside down? What are you doing? He's such a funny bird. Hey, we got some we got some jewelry. You want to look at the jewelry with me? Yeah? Yeah? What do you say? What are you doing? <laughs> All right, the jewelry. We got some scores on the jewelry. Look at these, Boosh. Oh, does everything scare you now? Bought these just because they're cute. And this is what I'm talking about, folks. This right here was the find of the day. These earrings that you can see I paid about six bucks for after the discount are by a company called Lunch at the Ritz. And they are worth, well, you saw it in the recap, they are worth over $100. Uh, this company makes a lot of different styles. So the shoes are one. I can't remember. Where, I can't remember. Just do the research. Go pull it up and look at the things that this company makes. I haven't even looked for a name. Oh, there it is. Lunch at the Ritz. I didn't even find that by looking at the earrings. I found that by doing a Google search, which is where I saw some of the prices. Some of them go for over $200, some of these. So... When you see fun, quirky, different, take a closer look because it could be something worth over $100 that you can buy for less than 10. Do you like this one, Bouge? Oh, he likes, he like, he likes the Sarah Coventry. Okay, so this is classic Sarah Coventry with the little faux pearl. It is a brooch, it is signed, and this one was $5 because it was half price. It's a $15 to $20 piece of Sarah Coventry. All right, let's talk about the Scentsies. So this is where, had I just gotten this stuff up here, piece of cake, I'd have been in my budget. This is what set me over, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. These are all brand spanking new in the box with all the wrappings, everything's in there. And uh, they are, these are all the same. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's eight different ones all together. Um, they're all in the $20 to $25 range consistently. Some of them are Christmas. So those ones could go for a little bit more closer to Christmas. And I think the cross actually goes for like $25 to $30. Um, there's St. Nick. There's the Sandcastle. There's the Wellies. All of oh, the vintage teapot. All of these, of course, are going to be in the nicheladyshop.com, and I will be selling them for 20 bucks a piece to my viewers. Uh, but if they don't sell there, these definitely will go on eBay or one of the other sites. Because what happens if you have a quantity item that triggers the marketplace to boost your item? Because most... Most of these algorithms work on quantity. They're not really made for the one-off sellers like us. So when you have a quantity of an item and you sell one, it boosts up all your other ones because the marketplace wants them to sell. So anytime you can get a quantity of something, go ahead and do it. That's why I bought all the mice. I buy all of, if there's a quantity, I buy it all because all I have to do is sell one and then Google or eBay or whatever venue you're on is going to do the rest of the work to get the rest of them sold. That's really loud in my ear. It's really loud. I know what you want. I know what you want. <laughs> so that is today's haul. It'll all be in the nichelady shop.com. 
So if you saw something you'd like, just head over there. And uh, yeah, yeah, I have this. <laughs> so with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. I didn't even make him work for it. Yeah.